Oops. I'm a little taller than I thought. Okay. Hi, I'm Trinity Johnson. I'm a poet at Westside High School. I'm a senior, sorry. <laughs> and this is my poem, Sit Down Comedy Because I'm Fat. Since I can remember, I've let my body control me. You see, whether it's the way I walk to the way I sit, I can never be content with just being me, 5'8 and overweight. I let my character cover up for the fact that I'm choking on my body image. Let my personality carry. Fat people are the funniest, right? Right? I can't remember the last time I ate three meals in a day, let alone two, as if that bowl of spaghetti is judging me. Why do I keep judging me? Is it because ever since I roamed the halls of school, the chatter of classmates always seemed to be negative? I became Tupac, all eyes on me, most famous fat person of the century. I let my wrists lead the room because it's the slimmest part about me. I remember being called Santa Claus and wishing I wasn't real. Jokes about my body made me, defeated me, it killed me, and as I laid there, all I wish is that the bleeding would make me more skinny. It's hard to be my friend. Whenever I don't eat, they don't eat. Am I a monster for not loving myself, not allowing myself basic nutrition? I was vegetarian, selling myself on false happiness, but there's nothing better than the feeling of an empty belly like I've made it. Himalayas of starved stomach songs. This is the point where I joke about how I will never be able to make it up Everest because I can barely make it up the stairs. That's a lie. Self-deprecating as normal. I was an athlete, played basketball till midnight, my heroine panting. It was to the point to where my gym teachers are calling them, my parents telling them how much I'm working, burning non-existent calories. When I say I'm going to the gym, I can hear the cackles of classmates and feel like I'm being crucified. Lord knows I never show that much skin. I remember my dad telling me to keep playing because it made me skinny. Of course, that's always been the ultimate goal. Only the fallen have fupas, and now I live in baggy clothes in the back rooms. I'll forever be the fat girl stereotype, laughing at my own kind while dying on the inside, because the only way to make it through this world is comedy for the wicked, appealing to the horrid. I let my head hang high and stomach carry. My personality is the funniest, right? Well, let me end this with a joke. What do you say to the girl who can't love herself? Nothing. She won't listen anymore.